right. Okay, here's a challenge for you. Could you sum up a book you're reading right now in, say, 60 seconds? Oh, yeah? Get ready. Go. All right, okay, no, I'm just kidding. But one young person is doing just that. And here's former Channel One News reporter Callie Carlin with that story. Since 1958, Cliff's Notes have been helping students navigate English class. In high school, did you use Cliff's Notes? Yes, actually I did. I remember my mom, when I was really struggling with Romeo and Juliet when I was in ninth grade, she said, okay, I'm going to go out and get you a copy of these. Today, Jenny Sawyer is helping students figure out the classics by writing and hosting the 60-second recap, a modern-day video Cliff's Notes. This is where it all happens. At a studio outside Boston, she gives her take on things like the characters, plot, and theme, each in 60 seconds or less. We'll let that slide. I was obviously always an avid reader, a literature nerd, um, but I've also worked as a book reviewer for several different publications, including the Christian Science Monitor. There are about 10 video clip recaps associated with each book, and you can stream them on your computer or on the go via your mobile device. They're entertaining, fast-paced, angst, disgust, confusion, depression, moodiness, anxiety, and free of charge. As dorky as it sounds, I do want to get teenagers excited about literature. Henry James was the master at creating what literary critics call the unreliable narrator. The class we visited in Tampa, Florida, at the Academy of the Holy Names proves she's succeeding. It's kind of like a trailer for a book. And it definitely gets our class hyped up about it. And it's a lot more fun to read after you know the basis of it. And this teacher says it actually makes her job easier. It's like inviting someone else in and say, look, I have a guest speaker. She makes the ideas and the themes of each novel easier to understand. If you think the 60-second recap could be a way to cheat or take the place of actually reading the book, founder Peter Osterlin says, think again. If you're going to go to Paris and you buy a tour guide. You don't read the tour guide and say, oh, okay, I read the tour guide, now I don't have to go to Paris. She only gives you just a little bit of information, just enough to kind of tease you, and that's enough for my students to say, I'm gonna read the whole book. And then post your own interpretation like Ashlyn did. The other main theme in the turn of the screw is that things only become real when they are written out. So feel free to disagree with Jenny. She wants to spark a discussion. I don't think of myself as an expert at all. I think of myself as a fellow reader. It's like, I'm, I'm going on this journey, and I know you are too, and so let's sort of travel it together. Callie Carlin for Channel One News. Any questions?